Hey guys, it's Dylan. So today we got this article from Photovoltaic Magazine titled Lithium Saturation to Make Old Batteries New. Scientists investigating the aging mechanisms affecting today's lithium ion batteries observed that the loss of lithium over time is one of the main causes of performance loss. With this in mind, they developed and tested a relithiation process that promises to eliminate much of the cost and complexity from recycling battery components and materials. Now, this is not new, but this technology is making progress. And as you can see, despite some regions introducing laws requiring use of recycled materials in battery production, extracting these remains an economic challenge and separating and purifying the materials to the point where they can be reused requires multiple expensive and energy intensive processes. And this right here is an excellent illustration of those challenges. To create a circular economy for any material, it's important to have a few components, a lower cost for the secondary process, recycling, then the primary process, raw material extraction, a simple purification flow sheet, valuable components, and a collection and segregation mechanism. It also helps when the material has a significant environmental impact if not recycled, and this tends to mandate its recycling. And if you've followed the EV space for any amount of time, you know that different automakers are using different cell chemistries and different cell types. And with that in mind, the variation in how cells and modules are arranged within battery packs, sometimes within a single EV manufacturing fleet, present another hurdle for recyclers. Lithium ion devices are organized to maximize safety and cell longevity at the expense of recyclability. Recycling is therefore in a catch-22 situation where cell and pack design controls the recycling strategy because everyone's trying to automate this process. But the myriad of combinations of cell and pack design make automated disassembly virtually unattainable. And so here is the most recent paper they referred to, April 19th, 2021, when it was first published. An alternative recycling method is presented to minimize the number of steps needed in the positive electrode recovery process. And the results show that after relithiation, the structure of original lithium cobalt oxide is restored, the capacity of an aged lyco O2 reverts close to the capacity of a fresh lyco O2 and the material can thus be recovered. And lithium cobalt oxide is the main battery type in your cell phone, your laptop, and your portable devices. But as mentioned, relithiation is not new and this paper from 2019 shows us end of life NMC 111 cathodes are typically 15 to 20% lower in lithium content than a fresh cathode. The goal is to return the cathode back to the starting composition through direct chemical relithiation without out causing change to the structure, maintaining as much of the structure as possible. And we have yet another paper from 2019 where it says, the direct recycling method transformed end-of-life cathode materials into battery-grade materials with minimal energy consumption. The relithiation step to restore the lithium stoichiometry of the cathode materials is critical. Stoichiometry, just think of the amount of substances and their relation. It is shown that the recycled LICO2 materials show equivalent crystal structure, morphology, and electrochemical performance to the commercial lithium cobalt oxide. So basically this process of relithiation is restoring the cathode almost to its original form as if it's created just from the raw materials. And we have this consortium resell who is already working on this technology. Conventional recycling processes depend on recovery of cobalt, the key cost driver as the key contributor to revenue. But there is also considerable value in the highly engineered crystal structure of the cathode, whether it contains cobalt or not. Direct recycling retains this structure rather than breaking it down into constituent elements and hence has the potential to be economically viable for any cathode chemistry. And a key component of that direct recycling process, cathode relithiation. Develop an energy efficient recycling process to directly regenerate various degraded cathode active particles, those listed and their mixtures, to revive their high electrochemical performance. And then we have this article from 2020, but Amazon, Panasonic, and recycling startups prepare for the battery wave tsunami, toward the end of which we see the Department of Energy funds a research consortium called the Resell Center. The center is currently organizing an informal competition between several different types of relithiation to see which performs best, according to Linda Gaines, transportation systems analyst at Argo National Laboratory, which is leading the effort. Relithiation has come a long way, she says it really is at the stage where we can think about scaling up. But if you guys would be interested in a deeper dive on relithiation, perhaps I can bring someone from Resell onto the channel for an interview. Let me know below if you'd be interested in that. If not, no big deal. By the way, my most recent video, the $3 acquisition, we're only about 400 likes away from the Bitcoin giveaway. So if you missed that one, go ahead and check that out, give a like, and then hopefully we can hit that 2,500 number. But that's all for today. And a huge thank you to everybody on the next screen. I'll see you guys in the next one.